Yeah, Abby, Jess, you can see the roads here. These are the ones that the city of Yukon hopes to fix. You can see there's cracks and just a need for updated maintenance, but some residents say that it's not urgent and it's not worth an increase in their taxes. The number one request was for our streets. The city of Yukon looking to renovate roads their budget couldn't cover, saying residents have asked for this change. Now voters have the opportunity to approve 17 projects that would improve roads, but it comes with a cost for taxpayers. For a $100,000 house, depending on how you uh, your mortgage is set up, it would be either $10 a month or um, $120 a year. A property tax increase that varies depending on the cost of your home or business. The bond would last 10 years and um, the projects could take a little bit more time than that, but that's how long the actual property tax increase would last. Some residents say with inflation and a recovering economy, city streets aren't in dire need of repairs. Price of gas, eggs, electric, my water bill doubled last month here in Yukon. All of these things and then now you're going to say you're going to tack a large tax onto the people who make up the town $40 a year for the next 10 years. Uh, that's a lot of stuff that I can, you know, use for my kids and my family. If it passes, some residents say they'll make a financial decision for the next decade to pay an increase in property tax or leave the place they call home. You know, having four kids and they're all young, so it's only getting more expensive every year. I, I'd really have to look at, you know, do I move out away from this place, you know, to find a better tax area and it's closer to work. So some residents say that it's not worth fixing these bumps in the road right now, but the city of Yukon says this is an important election to do these things now as Yukon continues to grow and they plan for the future.